Hi, here's what we did in the previous part. Now let's move on the top of the optical side support. With your face selected, extrude the new volume. Within the extrude function, hit Z and select the object you want to operate a boolean. In sketch mode, I start with the basic rectangle and circle tool. And with the spine tool, I can refine the shape to a more complex one. Here I spotted an inconsistent face. Just hit X to delete it and keep the edge flow. My main shape is now done. I like to separate my object into different manageable bits and connect them afterwards. Here I decided to separate the curved shape from the simple box. Hit Shift while hovering on a point to find its parallel. and with O to offset the curve, and delete what you don't need. With all my edges set, I can start to build the volume. Here I think the edge is too sharp, so let's fix that. A simple fillet would do the trick, and then you just have to fill all the gaps. And symmetrize. Moving on all the basic shapes, adding all those details for the screw. As you can see, the insert edge cannot snap to the point. Select the face where you want your edge and then insert the edge. Then loft and patch to finish everything. As you can see, those two edges are not following my edge flow represented with the yellow arrows. First step, extending the sheet. Second step, cut it again. Another situation to find the parallel, hit shift while hovering the edge to have a guide and click. Remember that with V key you can move your pivot point where you want to.
that's it for this part and i'll see you in the final one for the optical side